How's it going YouTubers? Cornwolf here. Thank you for joining me for another video today and today we are looking at Grip Combat Racing, a game by Wired Productions and uh, it's, it's loads of fun. Um, so we'll start off from the top, uh, what is Grip uh, Combat Racing? Uh, for anybody that's, I hope someone that's watching this video is old enough to remember, Roll Cage from the early 2000s, uh, which was a fun action packed game and basically this is its spiritual successor. Uh, the guys over at Wild Productions absolutely uh, love this kind of game and they wanted to do a, a game from their reimagining but taking that nostalgia um, from that game and making their own. So uh, that's what we've got, that's, that's how uh, Grip Combat Racing was developed and born and, and made. Uh, so the game itself, um, you go through various tunnels and races and, and different things like that and it's, it's massively high adrenaline, high octane, balls to the wall racing. Um, it's a little bit like if you got Mario Kart and then slammed in um, a little bit of Wipeout and they kind of had a, a baby um, but not so many genes from the uh, Mario Kart side of things because the reason why I say Mario Kart is because you've got weapons and things in it as well, a little bit like Wipeout. Um, I guess it is more Wipeout-esque if nobody's ever played um, Disney games before um, but just because it's rather than the floating bits you are tires on tarmac, roads, ceiling, whatever. Um, but yeah, you've got the weapons and things like that as well. Um, and basically, it's a, it's a racing game and you are absolutely thrashing the nads off your car um, to go as, as quick as you can uh, and to win the race. But you, as you're driving along, as you've probably seen from some of the footage behind, the game takes a lot of twists and turns and um, you kind of get a little bit disorientated and you traverse very fluidly from uh, going up half a half pipe and spinning you around so it's not just a straight out flat bit of road that you're going around with maybe a couple of jumps uh, you'll be going down a little bit of a canyon or whatever you'll go through a bit of a half pipe and then suddenly it will shoot off to the left and then you're going up and then you're on the side wall and then you're on the roof and that then becomes the floor and then the floor but it just you know it's, it's crazy um, when was it you're a gamer uh, with the credit momentum guys uh, we were watching a couple of the guys having their own little test trial while it's a little bit quiet and they were trying to get it to the speed of sound I think it was um, and, and you have you can either have actual speed in your speedo or you can have the max speed um, which is which is loads of fun uh, and there's loads of different weapons there's rockets the shields and, and things like that and you also get to upgrade your car as you go along the the career mode itself hasn't got bags and bags of depth to it if, if I'm honest um, it's it's just kind of like here's a career mode there you go uh, and there's multiplayer and you can do split screen and, and things like that as well it looks absolutely stunning there's not massive amounts of depth to it but then again it's one of those games that you'll go do you know what I really fancy having just a, a blast on that and having a few races and whatnot and, and in, in personal experience you can't drive it too much you can't spend hours and hours on this game because it's that fast pace and the adrenaline's going and you have to keep your reactions going like a, a kid in a fighter plane um, is that you, you get tired quite quick and you lose concentration um, maybe that's just getting old um, but yeah loads and loads of fun the tracks are really good maybe could do with a little bit more variety in the tracks but there's still loads of fun and like, like I say you can go up on the ceilings and there's a little uh, like oval track as well where you can just see how quick you can you can go and there's three types of boosts in the game you've got your um, your NOS if you like uh, your standard boost that you do as you're you're going along and you just press triangle or Y to boost that then you can pick up power-ups which then give you another boost and then there's boosts on the on the ground like you get in Mario Kart that you just drive over in, in other games um, and you can get some serious speed in this game um, and there are different cars that you unlock as you go along which do get quicker and, and different things and, and it's loads and loads of fun it's something that you can you can bang on with your mates and have a blast go online different things like that um, it's on Nintendo Switch, it's on PlayStation 4, it's on Xbox One and it's on PC so there's no excuse really for anybody to get it uh, and I do recommend getting it, um, it's one of those games that's it's around the £34 mark um, possibly with the Black Friday and Christmas sales coming up it may be a little bit cheaper and if you're an Xbox One uh, Game Pass member it's on that so you've definitely not got an excuse not to at least pick it up and give it a go and it's definitely definitely worth a go uh, so pick it up, have a blast, let me know what you think um, there's not an awful lot else to say really, it's just a very quick review um, of, of this game. 
throw a comment below if you've been playing this. Um, don't forget to throw this video a thumbs up, it just helps uh, the video get a bit of exposure and uh, let people know that you like it. So uh, until next time guys, if you're not already a subscriber, smash that subscribe button. I'll see you all on the next video.